if you are an engineer or studying engineering then this video is very very important for you why because in this video we are going to discuss about the those essential skills which an engineer must have we will see that what are those skills which an engineer must have when he go in an industry so suppose if you are in a college so you can work on these skills or if you are a newcomer and you are about to join a company or organization so you must have these skills or you can work on these skills okay to improve your knowledge to improve your career growth so what is our first skill so let's see that what is our first skills before that if you are new in our youtube channel you, so you can simply subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you could get the latest notification so let's start the video so the first skill which every engineer must have that is the technical knowledge okay the technical knowledge he must have why i am saying that the technical knowledge he must have because let's suppose if you are a electrical engineer chemical engineer electronics engineer mechanical engineer instrument engineer so you must have the knowledge of your technicals you must have the knowledge of your core so you must be up to date with the knowledge okay what is going in your industry what are the recent developments in your industry in your branch that is very very important let's suppose if you are a chemical engineer and you want to go in the fertilizer you want to go in the refinery so what are the new advancements are there what are what are the new technologies which refineries and fertilizers are using if you know that if you have that knowledge so it is definitely going to help you in your career growth okay it will also build your critical knowledge skills okay how you can do that how you can enhance your technical knowledge so what you can do you can simply follow the industrial news so see here if you are a mechanical engineer so you can follow the mechanical news mechanical industrial news okay so those news which are related to mechanical engineers if you are an electrical engineer so you can see the news related to the electrical engineer you can read the blog okay you can read the different different blogs about the science and technology about your core engineering got it my point so that is the first technical skills which you must have okay so what is the another skill and the another skills is communication skills okay why the communication skills is important it is important because let's suppose you have a team okay and you are leading that team right so whenever you will go in an industry so there will be 5% 10% and more than 10% those you will lead okay why the communication skills is important this is important because in a industry you will see that you will work with the team okay you will work with the group and everyone has a different different mentality right and if you are working in a team so everyone has a different different attitude everyone has a different mentality everyone has different skills right so your communication skills your communication behavior will depend or will decide that how strong will be your bond with everyone okay because it may happen that there may be a one person which pitch match with you but there may be happen that the different person whose pitch is not matched to you but you have to make the coordination okay that coordination depends on the communication skills means how better you are in the communication skills how politely you speak with someone okay it will also help you in work completion because ultimate goal of the organization or yours is the work completion it also help us to resolve the issue let's suppose there are the one person comes with the different issue and another person comes with the different issue and if you just hyper so it will not work but if you just listen his or her problem and you solve them so it will definitely make the bond strong so the communication skills is one of the most important skills in the organization which a engineer must have another skills is software skills why the software skills is important so see that in a industry you will see that whether you are in any industry if you are in 
like electrical engineering industry, mechanical engineering industry, chemical engineering industry, instrumentation in engineering industry, any domain you are, that software skills is very, very important. And the primary software, like the one common software which every industry use, that is Microsoft Office. You will see that Microsoft Excel, PowerPoint, MS Word, that is used widely in every industry. If you are a newcomer and want to learn any particular software, so MS Office you must learn because in 70 to 80 percent of the work in an industry is done in the MS Office or mainly in a Microsoft Excel. So that software is very very important for you to learn. And what are the other skills? Like what are the other software skills? So you will see that in an engineering domain, AutoCAD is widely used, MATLAB is widely used, Aspen Hysis is widely used, CAD is widely used. So you can learn these softwares. But initially MS Office is the common software which you must learn if you are newcomers or about to join an industry or if you are in a college. So that software you must learn. Learning means if you are learning any software, learn it completely, learn it deeply. Got it my point? So that's why I said that the software skills an engineer must have. Another very, very important skills is presentation skills. How you present anything, it makes you apart from class. It makes you stand out from the crowd. Why? Just if you have the presentation skills, so it may help you, it may completely change your career. If you have the good presentation skills, you can present anything in a well manner. So it can definitely stand you apart from the crowd. Okay. And for the career perspective, this skills is very, very important. And in this skills, your body posture, your communication skills matters a lot. Got it my point? So presentation skills you must work on that skills because in an industry you will see that sometimes you will have to present there may be your seniors your juniors right and you will have to present something in front of them so how do you convey your message that is very very important in the presentation skills and you must learn that skills for your career growth to make the strong bond or to stand out from the crowd that presentation skills is very very important for you okay so what is the next skills so before going to next skills if you are enjoying this video so you can simply like this video you can subscribe our youtube channel and you can share this video with your friends or in the groups okay so the next skills is leadership skills leadership skills why this skills is important Let's suppose there is any work, any work is assigned to you and there are five persons who will assign, who will assist you in this work. If you have the leading skills means if you can lead in that project because the ultimate goal, what is the ultimate, what is your ultimate goal? The ultimate goal of yours is that you have to complete that project. You have to complete that work. So how you are coordinating with your co-workers, how you are coordinating with the colleagues, that is very, very important in the leadership skills. In that skills, your communication skills will matter. Your nature with the workers, because everyone has the different skills, everyone has different mentality. So how you are handling all of them, that is very, very important. Leadership is a key quality in the modern era of engineering world and industry require that person who has the leadership quality. If you have the leadership quality, leadership skill, then you are going to very, very fantastic in the organization, in an industry. So a leader should have the ability to bring people together and influence them to do that particular work because the ultimate goal of uh, is that we have to complete that work within time. Okay, so there your nature with the team workers, you are helping hands with them, your communication skills, right? Your how you influence them, how you bring them together, it will it will definitely matters a lot. Okay, so that's why the leadership skills is very, very important. You can must learn that skills in your life. Now the next skills is that how creative you are. What is it means? It means that if you are working in an industry 
or if you will go in an industry so you will see that every day or frequently there will be problems there there may be a problems in the equipment there may be a problems in the software there may be problems with the clients there may be the problem with the process so what is your attitude towards the problem how do you see the problems how you solve that problems whether you are solving that problems with the same ordinary solution or you are trying to give some creative solutions means let's suppose if there is any one particular problem with your client and that client every time complain so how do you handle that problem how you handle that client so that now he couldn't complain okay means what ultimately what is the creative means creative means that how do you see the problems and how you give the solution okay is your solution modern creative or that is the ordinary with same earlier the organization was following so that depends a lot if your solution will be creative so it will definitely stand you out from the others got in my point that is very very important that how do you see the problems and how you create the solution the next skills which you can work on it that is innovative innovation what is it means it means that you know what there will be always be a demand to keep making things better faster and stronger it means that suppose if you are working in an industry right you are working with any system so how you can do better how you can do better that system okay can you give your 1% for the betterment okay what is it means it means that let's suppose if there is any machine so can you do something can you give some improvement there so that that machine reliability efficiency increased and by which the process efficiency increase the plant efficiency increase it may be in any perspective it may be in safety it may be in production maintenance instrumentation it depends on you but if you do that so what will happen that ultimately what you are doing you are improving the process you are improving the reliability in the process okay and that's why you will see that in a industry there is a one concept the concept of the kaizen the concept of the improvement which you must have to do if you will do so the organization will reward you or organization will give you the certificate or it may also help you in your increment it will also help you in your career growth right so this innovative solution is very very important this innovation is very very important that how you can improve the system got it my point okay so what is the next skills the next skills is detail oriented means how detail oriented you are you know what if there is any small mistake or any small error in any particular work particular process so it can cause a major effect that's why the deep knowledge in what you are doing is important let's suppose if you are going to work in any project or if you have to design any project design any vessel so you must have the deep knowledge of the design you must have your concept your basic must be clear if that is not clear what happened that the minor mistakes can impact a lot the minor mistake can cause a major effect right in an industry that's why the deep knowledge means how detail oriented you are if you are working in any particular work any particular object so how deeply you gather the knowledge how deeply you acquire the knowledge that is very very important because one minor mistake can create a big problem got it my point so that is very very important for example let's suppose if there is a chemical industry okay so there are so many control valves let's suppose the one control valve unknowingly you close okay so because of that what happens what could happen the vessel can be pressurized okay it could cause to the environment human as well as the equipment right the engineer that's why the engineer must have the detail oriented got it my point so this is skill you must have and you must work on that skills and in the last that is team work are you good at this means you are good to work with the team how effectively you work with the team if suppose you are in a team so how effectively you manage everyone 
how effectively you coordinate with everyone because everyone has the different skills everyone has different mentality so how do you coordinate with everyone if you are able to coordinate with everyone in an effective way so yes you are good at this but if not then you must to learn that how to do the teamwork or how to do that work effectively because in your career there will be a one time when you will have to work with the team so how your communication skills is how your technical skills is how your leadership skills is how innovative creative you are it will definitely impact here if you will be good at that you can easily do good here if you are doing good here ultimately your aim what you are doing will be complete at a right time okay that's why the team work is very very important and this skill you must acquire and what are the other skills which you must have the other skills you must have like you must be a down to earth okay means you must have the helping nature you should not have any like that negative attitude you must have the research skills because you will have to do the research as we have already discussed that in our innovative and creative skills the quality assurance skills you must have what is the quality assurance skills means whatever you are doing right in our industry so you must ensure that what you are doing what solution you are providing is it is helping to improve the quality if it is helping in improving the quality then yes definitely you have the quality assuring skills right so these are the some skills where you can work or these are the those skills where you can work if you have already these skills so you can further enhance your skills or if you do not have that skill so you can work on these skills so that's all for the today's video if you like this video you can simply subscribe our youtube channel press the bell icon so that you could get the latest notification so thank you for watching see you soon till then keep learning